people really underestimate how nice it feels not to have anything under your feet except for the earth. I mean, because when you think about shoes, there's that huge, thick sole. And even for shoes like Vibram, there's still the layer in between, and you really miss out on a lot of the textures and the feelings and even just like the temperature of the earth. You can feel, without wearing shoes, you can feel the difference between what's alive and what's dead, what's made by man and what was there by nature and just things like that. This sounds weird when I say it out loud, but I kind of do it from the feet's point of view. I mean, how would you feel if you were suffocated all the time? So, you know, it's like putting shoes on your feet is kind of like cutting off your feet's senses. You can't feel anything, you know, and it's like if you were to go blind and you couldn't touch anything at the same time, your nerves were completely gone, you know. It's cutting off from something that I feel like everyone should be able to experience. I started going barefoot. In the normal places when I was little, you know, around the house, in the yard. Usually where I'd be barefoot would be in the, uh, the dojang when I was practicing, you know, taekwondo, hapkido, um, judo class I'd take, kickboxing course I'd take. Never wear shoes in any of those, but, I mean, that was never part of the whole not wanting to wear shoes idea or wanting to be barefoot. That was just what you did there. I do think that that had a lot to to do with me being used to being barefoot and a lot to do with me wanting to be barefoot while active or engaged in activities or sports. To me it always just made sense. You, you don't wear shoes. Like Shoes get in the way. You can't feel the ground. You can't feel the contact you have. I'm a Taekwondo master. When we go hiking, he wouldn't wear his shoes and of course I wouldn't wear my shoes. I was encouraged for that. It says it's good for your balance, it's good for your, your health. I would hike in the woods and uh, go on walks barefoot. It always just felt natural, it always felt better. I started because I realized how uncomfortable shoes were. And also how tender they made my feet. And how much they hurt my ankles. And generally just how unenjoyable it was. If you don't need them, I don't think they're worth wearing. I mean, they're nice on, like, long hikes or if you got to walk over a bunch of concrete. But even then, they they just make your feet tender if you don't wear them and you try to go barefoot. I used to not even be able to walk across pavement barefoot because I was so sensitive. But ever since I stopped wearing shoes when it's warm out and sometimes even when it's cold, I, I can walk over pretty much anything, even, like, little shards of broken glass. And I think that's a good thing to have. So, I mean, you know, it's because I want to. I don't think everyone wants to, but they just won't let themselves. They won't stop smelling roses. And I think they're too worried about, like, other people think. It's kind of like um, taking your shirt off. It's almost like a uh, self-confidence kind of a thing. And I think a lot of people just find their own feet disgusting. Like, they're just disgusted by feet for some stupid reason. I go somewhere, I have to take shoes with me if I'm trying to go into a place of business, which is kind of annoying when, you know, you just want to amble on, you know, for a couple miles or whatever, but you got to carry shoes with you because you got to go into business. You cannot come into the store without shoes on because it's a health code violation. Not wearing shoes is not unsanitary because you're tracking in the same dirt on the bottom of your feet as you would in the shoe, but probably less of it. It's just not logical. Yeah, I think it's disgusting too. I was brought up that way, you know. Put a, put a shirt on, put shoes on when you eat at the table. This is the way I up. I feel like people are just culturally programmed to find certain things disgusting, and that's one of them. Sometimes I'll literally walk everywhere barefoot. Um, sometimes I'll, especially now that it's a lot colder outside, I'll walk into the building with shoes and then when I sit down into class I'll take them off and then just carry them around with me. Sometimes I'll even go into the bathroom barefoot and apparently that's really really gross but I don't, it doesn't bother me. When people meet me they apparently have a tendency to label me as a 1990s grunge baby hippie and it's, and they always say that it's a combination of my flannel, my love to climb, and my lack of shoes. And so it's, it's always interesting. They don't typically imply the dirty part, but you can kind of tell that in their mind's eye, it's kind of like, oh, well, hippies are 
you know, Woodstock crazy people who like to live outside and roll in mud and stuff, and that's not it at all. One lady at the um, one of the little cafes in the school, and she would hate. She would always give me dirty looks and ask them, say, "Why aren't you wearing shoes? You need to be wearing shoes. You know, what's wrong with you? That's just, that's nasty. How can you do that?" And I always tell her, ah, it's fine, it's not a problem. She's like, no, it is, I don't like seeing it. And then uh, she asked me, isn't that dirty? And I was like, no, I clean my feet every day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel that that's a problem, really. I also realize there are times you need to wear shoes. But that's just the way it is, <laughs> I guess. Being barefoot is a very liberating experience. Just feel the grass in your toes. <laughs> That's all. Why not? <laughs>